Hi, this is Diane again, Creative Off-Road MLM. And this is the final bit of this, uh, this piece to the puzzle. And what I want you to do is when you have your image, is the first thing you need to do is upload it to your media library in the back of your WordPress blog. So you go to the second one down, first one's post, second one's media, add new media, and then upload your blog header to that section of your blog and then you're going to need to add it to a HTML editor this is just Microsoft front page and basically just open it up and then uh, get a new blank page you're not even going to name it you're not building a website or anything but what you need to do is click insert and this is going to get you the code for that you're going to need when you put it on your blog so if you just click insert picture from file upload your file and then what I need you to do is there's three buttons here and you need to click the HTML button so don't get too <laughs> worried about this because all you're going to do is copy and paste in between where it says body and then it says image border and the file this is actually going to be wrong which is why we need to upload image to another place so we're going to copy that go over to your WordPress blog and using the thesis open hook feature you get a shortcut feature here so we're actually looking for thesis hook header and what you need to do is you just need to paste paste that in there and then save and actually what you're going to find is that gives you nothing at all because what's happened now is that it's uploaded the code but it doesn't actually recognize the features so although I've done this before I've now undone this so I can demonstrate what it is that I'm doing and what you're going to find is it's, it's just not there so on your go back to where your file is uploaded and you've clicked edit so this is your image it actually has a file URL and this is how you can get images in lots of places so control alt control C go back to your thesis open hook and then hit thesis hook header and in here where it says SRC equals in between the two quotations you just need to paste your file URL HTTP exactly from where your image is hosted click save and what you're going to find is once that has saved you are then going to find when we hit refresh on the actual blog you're going to find that it has now found that image that's all there is to it. it may seem a bit kind of technical in some ways but I can show you it's very simple and what we're going to do uh, just to finalize is to show you how to add a banner ad into the sidebar of your blog and for that you need to go to the widget section and you can either drag and drop these or you can actually change to um, listing but we need to drag and drop a text bar I prefer actually the other one I'm just going to change that across screen options and then enable accessibility mode I find it easier to use like this because you can just click add uh, instead of having to drag and drop so we're going to add a text and there's a brand new uh, Mike Dillard um, product at, at the moment which is the Alpha Networker 2.0 and so in the back of um, anything that you affiliate to you'll be you often see this banner ha banner ads um, or text links and all you need to do is control A which is control all and then control C which is the shortcut for control and copy and then back to your um, widget which is you can put a title in here you know Mike Dillard Alpha Networker and that will just come up 
um, on the blog worker 2.0 and then copy and paste that and then all we need to do we're going to add it to sidebar number one in the first position because this is the only one we're going to have uh, just for demonstration purposes and then it's literally just a case of repeating the same things over and over again and once you've learned a little bit you don't have to learn how to write code you just need to know basically how to manipulate it a little bit so that you too can create everything you need to do there's that banner ad and simply that is all there is to it you need to know how to copy and paste code to get a autoresponder in there it's the same thing and then literally just change that image code and you've got something that most people stumble over and never get past and hopefully that just shows you that if I can do it as they say anybody can take care if you've got any questions please get in touch and enjoy the series Diane signing out.